an exciting first date, but not the good type of exciting. That's right. A woman became part of a chase after her date refused to stop when deputies tried to pull him over. Mm. News 6's Lauren Korn joins us with a message for singles who might be dating online. Anybody else inside the car, come out with your hands up or do it now. Flagler County deputies are searching for a 42-year-old man who ditched his date he met online after taking the two on a wild ride late Thursday night. And they were going to Denny's in the middle of the night. She didn't really know his last name. She knew him by two different first names. After eating, deputies say the 42-year-old woman didn't feel well and allowed the man to drive her car, who only briefly stopped when a deputy pulled him over for a tag light that was out. She asked him several times to pull the car over that she had a valid driver's license she would drive the car and he just kept saying he was going to go to jail go to jail so he was exceeding the speed limit driving very erratically deputies threw down stop sticks and the car eventually slowed down onto sherwood street where the man bailed into the woods sheriff's office and you're in here make yourself know i left the car in drive the car was in drive i literally had to put the car in park myself another deputy questioning the woman about what happened I told how him, fast I said, was he going over 100 points. There was points oh, and I kept screaming yeah, at him. I'm like, listen, I live out here. I know these roads. Slow the down, man. I just okay. went through an incident. I don't want to die. Just last month, deputies say the same woman was involved with 29-year-old Henry Brock, who they say beat her outside of a gas station. He was arrested and at last check is still in jail. He'd have to hop this fence at some point. Deputies also used Volusia County's chopper to help with the search, but he was nowhere to be found. The sheriff's office advice to people that if you're going to utilize these dating websites, you know, be smart about it. Deputies say they have narrowed down who the suspect is and will be releasing his identity soon. At the Flagler County Courthouse, Lauren Corn getting results, News 6.